Hey guys, Stuart Brazel here at the third annual Nautica Oceana Beach House. It's time to click on this. We've got some really exciting celebs expected and it's all for a great cause. So let's do it. It's amazing what some Super Bowl fame will get you, right? Then you get to walk carpet. Gosh, oh my gosh, that's all you gotta do is be the Super Bowl. So we are absolutely gonna talk about why you're here, but I have to talk about the season of Eve. Dan, man, you, you're, you were out, now you're up. What's going on? This is a great season. You, thank you, thank you. You, you, uh, you can't keep a bad guy down. It's basically what we're proving. And I have to ask about working with Julia. I mean, the comedic timing and the way that you guys play, what's it like to really get to share a scene with her? It's amazing. It's amazing. She's one of those rarefied actresses that has this ability to make everything she does better and everyone around her better. She has incredible ideas. Obviously, her, her, you know, her comedic skills, her, her improv skills. It's just fun, honestly. Yeah. You know, we're all just playing a game, really. That's kind of you know what our style of comedy on Beep is, and, and no one plays that game better than her. And do you ever get some really fun fan interactions, like some good tweets at you after episodes? Oh yeah, I mean, actually, <laughs> after the episode where Dan got fired, uh, it was really heartwarming to see how many people, you know, were, were so upset that Dan. You know, was going to be leaving the team, but uh, you know, he's he's obviously yeah, on to it. bigger. I don't know necessarily better things, but you know. And I feel like um, you and Jonah, you're you're seriously going to have a bromance, like eventually, maybe. Yeah. That's we've already designed the last episode of the entire series, Dan and Jonah. Spin off. It's yeah. They they both wake up in bed together and they own a bed and breakfast in Vermont. I love it. Yeah. And then tonight you're co-hosting. This is such an incredible cause. Talk to me about being here and involved. Uh, I've been a huge fan of Oceana for a very long time. Uh, last year, I, I, I got to really be involved in a way that I'd never been able to before. We went and we lobbied Congress. Uh, which, Getting political. Yeah, it was really incredible, too. So, you know, after doing a show about, you know, the ins and outs of politics, to actually go and really try my hand at it was just remarkable. And to see the reach that Oceana has and the respect that Oceana has on Capitol Hill was remarkable. I mean, we, we sat down with... Yeah, I think close to 20 congressmen and women uh, for a good long time, and they were really uh, open to what we had to say. And I'm very proud that we actually did affect some change. And that's what's special about Oceana uh, is that they really they back up what they say, they mean what they say, and they get things done. And that's in this day and age, that's remarkable. I feel like Dan would support them as well. I think he would. I think Dan would support them for the wrong reason, I know. probably because there's like a bar or something in there. But it, yeah. <laughs> for some reason, awesome. Could I get a quick pick for social media? Of course, yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is fun. You get to support your fellow Gleek tonight. Talk to me about like what you're doing here and how awesome this is. Yeah, I'm here supporting uh, Jenna Eskowitz. Uh, it's so funny. Like after. People always ask after the show, like, are you going to see each other? Are you going to actually... Are you really friends? Yeah, you're really... This is the true test. Are you really friends? And it is. And there she is walking walking by right now. Um, yeah, and it's so great that she is really expanding her charity work and, and really going out and, and doing the things that she loves. So for me, it's it's coming out and supporting it and, and, and the things that I believe in, but uh, here supporting her as well. And of course, I mean, all the fans, it's a bittersweet thing, but now that you've had a little time to kind of take in the finale and the experience, what are your thoughts? Uh, you know, it's an end of a chapter and that's, it's like a bittersweet moment where yeah. you are so excited for the new opportunities, but also, you know, you have those fond memories of all the times that we spent together and, and building those memories. So, you know, it's one of those moments that I, I still can't explain to this to this day because I love every second of it, but also it's gonna be really nice to also look back 10 years from now and see all the things we did. Well, how cool that you got to dance all the time. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, right, dance, sing and dance, I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want that every single day? Okay, so now we got to talk about all the amazing stuff you have going on. Yes, uh, really exciting because from dancing on stage and singing and dancing on stage on TV as well, uh, I, I'm taking a, a different seat where I'm judging on this new show called Fake Off. Um, and it's really fun. A fake is a trick or an illusion that incorporates into a theatrical performance. So it's special effects theater basically. And it's been really, really fun to be in there. And then also I'm going back on to 
the screen in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon 2. What? That's crazy. Yeah. So it's going uh, it's, it's to be out on Netflix and IMAX at the same time, and it's going to be really, really fun. What can you tell us about that? Is it like lip sealed? It's pretty lip seal right now. I can tell you right now, I, I donned some long hair, which I haven't done in a long time. Uh, and I get to do crazy wire work and martial arts, so it's definitely a different... It's not dancing and singing, so um, it's a different approach, and it, it, was, it was a really cool experience. I can't even imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing that. Have fun with your girl, Jenna. Thank you. And I enjoy yourself tonight. Thank you so much. Left Shark's getting really friendly up in here. Very. Whoa, very. <laughs> so, so excited to see you. Got some fan questions for you. But first of all, you're co-hosting tonight. This is incredible. I'm very excited. I've been a longtime supporter of Oceana. Um, I've gotten to come to these really wonderful events, and then I got to go on a trip the other, uh, like last week, um, to go sort of learn about the overfishing of forage fish for the sea lions, and it was very educational and very eye-opening, and um, yet still so beautiful. So it's uh, I love this organization so much. And I'm just so, so honored to be here. And you look stunning. I have to ask about the dress. It's Style Stalker, actually. And I, I'm just all about the patterns right now. <laughs> I love it. Well, I talked to your ex-boyfriend earlier, who's clearly here to the Glee ex-boyfriend, not your oh, real I was one. like, wait a whole minute. Is there a surprise? So, oh, Harry. Yeah, so had to ask now that, uh, you know, you've had time to kind of reflect, the show wrapped. How's it been for you and the receival from the fans? Um, you know, I think the last episode was really nostalgic for people, really lethargic and um, very therapeutic as well. So I will go with all the icks. Um, the response has been so amazing. Our fans have stuck by us. You know, even afterwards, they're still supporting us. Um, we still see everybody under the sun because there's so many of us and we're all really great friends. So it's kind of sad, but it also... Um, Really nice to see where everybody's going to go and when the awesome work that they're doing. And then we got, I sent out a tweet and a lot of people were asking Tina Cohen on Twitter actually, <laughs> what's going on with the Mulan album they want to know? Oh, well, Disney's making a Mulan movie. I'm not sure. They started a Twitter campaign for me, which is awesome, and I would love to, but uh, I have no idea really yet. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it'd be really cool. And anything you want to say to the fans for just being awesome and whatever your thoughts are? Um, you guys are awesome. I love you all so much. Um, just, you know, thank you for your support and your love, and I'll, I'll be here, you know, for you guys. All right, I hope you guys had fun. Got a pick with Lev Shark, Life Made. Be sure to check out more from Click on This. And if you want to learn more about this amazing organization, all the links are below in the video. Bye, guys.